I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect starter base and no monsters will be able to get to you. So let's jump straight into it. First things you will need is of course some ladders. You're going to need about 5 ladders, you're going to need some wood and this is all you need to start the entrance of the base. Go ahead and place one log and then delete 6 blocks around it, just like that. Next step, go ahead and place three, four, five blocks high. Place the ladders, not on the bottom one, just on the second one up, just like that. Now you'll be able to jump across. This is the start of the base. No zombies will be able to get there. We can test this by placing a villager up here. So we're going to place the villager there. Then we're going to spawn the zombie in. The zombie is not going to be able to get there. So now we are going to turn ourselves to survival mode. And let's pretend this zombie is chasing us. All we need to do is go to the block, jump across, and climb up the ladder. And we are safe. There's nothing that zombie can do. Now let's burn these zombies. Now the next thing you want to do is make some pillars up. We're going to go three blocks out. One, two, three. Of course we're going to take ourselves back to game mode save, just so we can do this tutorial. We're going to go up five blocks, just like this pillar here. Same thing on this side, one, two, three. Five blocks high, just like that. We're going to do the exact same thing, three blocks wide, five blocks high. One more time, one, two, three, four, five. Each of these pillars have five blocks between them. One, two, three. Sorry, three blocks between them, and they're five high. Just like that. Keep going until you have eight pillars just like this in a perfect square. We can go ahead and place some spruce slabs in the centers of all of these pillars, just like this. This will be our main deck. Now go ahead and grab some stone brick dares and place them exactly as I do, upside down on each of the pillars even one block gaps between, just like that. Go ahead, grab a trapdoor, a spruce trapdoor, and place the trapdoors just like this, in between each of the stairs. The base should now look a little bit like this. Go to the right side of the top block on each pillar and place a spruce door and then turn it in, just like that. This will give the build much more detail. The build should now look just like this. The next step is to raise this block one block high every single pillar, except the one that we enter the base. So leave this one empty. Just like that. Grab the spruce trapdoors and place them on block higher than the top pillar that we just created. Just like that. Go ahead, grab some spruce fences and spruce fence gates. Place the fences just like that on each of these stone brick slides, stone brick stairs. Place the gates just on top of each of the spruce doors. Just like that. The build should look a little like this. Now 
now we can go ahead and put in some things that we might need. Go ahead, grab some barrels, maybe some chests, a crafting table, a furnace, a brewing stand, and an anvil. Place the crafting table in the corner with a barrel and then a chest. Place a furnace and anvil with a brewing stand on top of the furnace and another barrel. Just like that. We're going to raise the barrels one more block higher as well as the chest. We are going to remove this anvil, place it there and then the anvil on top of the furnace. Just like that. We can do the same thing on the other side, however we don't need to put the ferns there. We can replace this with a blast furnace. Two barrels. Two double chests. Then we can put the furnaces. We don't really need another brewing stand or another anvil, so we can just put some more furnaces there. Then some barrels. You can decorate this part as exactly as you need. You don't need to follow this part. You can just copy it as an example or create your own based on what you need. Now, of course, we're not going to waste the space. We are going to put some farms down here. In the center block, remove it and place it with some water. Place a stone brick slab on the top block. Just like that. We're going to increase that block into a, a spruce block in the middle into a full block and then we are going to place a lantern just like that. To go give ourselves some more protection we're going to replace the bottom block with spruce slabs just like that. going to grab our fence gates and our regular spruce fences and do the exact same pattern just to give ourselves some extra protection. If a monster manages to get into this section you can escape on any side that you like so you won't be trapped just like that. Go ahead and plow all the grass blocks And fill the plowed land with whatever seed you like. I'm going to use wheat. Now you don't need this block here, it will just make it a lot easier for you to get in there. However, if you do remove it, you can just jump across. Just like that. But it is a little bit more difficult to make the jump every single time. Especially if you're running away from a zombie. But that is definitely not required, as you can see. And that is how you make an extremely easy starter base. This doesn't require any serious materials, and you can make it really quickly in your first night. It looks very nice, and it is very functional. You can change the upper deck to include whatever you like barrels, chests, furnaces, in any setup that you prefer. You can also change the seeds down the below on the bottom level to whatever you need. Carrots, potatoes, beetroot, even melons. It is entirely up to you. This is an extremely easy base for you to use. Go ahead and give it a go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.